Hey believers, in this video we will learn to earn 500k gems in FC Mobile. Furthermore, all these topics are covered throughout this video. 1. Earn 500k gems in a short period of time. 2. Everything you need to do before the TOTS event. So believers welcome back to episode 18 of the 0 to 100 OVR as F2P series, where our aim is to reach 100 OVR as free to play users. Before we move, make sure you have subscribed to the channel as once we reach 100 over in this account Thanks. I am going to give it to one of you my subscribers only. Anyway, let's move to point number one. Earn 500k gems in a short period of time. I am not going to explain very thoroughly about this trick as most of you already know about this trick, but I will give you the easiest games lists for getting a good amount of gems, and also try to fix the most faced issues during this trick. Now, let's begin. Step 1. Download Spider Open VPN from the Play Store. Now, if you are an iOS user then, I would suggest you to download any emulators like Bluestack, LD Player, Nox Player and so on in your PC if you have. After downloading the steps are similar as you can do any Android tasks in the emulators. After you download the VPN and just open it. Go to the US section and then make sure to connect any server from the US lists. Step 2. Select the best game to earn gems. Now you just have to go to FC Mobile and open the complete offer section. Here you will see a lot of games to play. I know well that in most of your mobile phones, it might not show any of the games to play. So in such cases I would suggest you follow the processor from the emulators if you have a PC or laptop. Either you can use your friend's phone daily for someone to two hours to complete the mission. Now here you will see a lot of games which are even offering 1 million plus gems, and some games are offered but all the games are a bit time consuming to complete, and the missions are a bit hard too. So I suggest you search for the game called Raid Shadow Legends as the missions of this game are easier than those of the other games. To be honest, I didn't find others game which is really easy, but this one is a bit easier. If you don't find this game in your offers section then, make sure to switch VPN with a different server like Japan. Japan, UK, and US. You might get it. So you have selected the game, and now it's time to play that game and complete the missions that are mentioned here, and you can earn about 500k gems playing this game only. If you play it on two phones at the same time, then you can earn about 1 million gems. Now click on the Learn button, and it will take you to the Play Store. After that, just install the game and open it. Complete some missions in the game. After that, come back to FC Mobile and here you can see the tick icon in the gems for the first mission as I have already completed. Now let's go to the game and in the inbox section you will be able to claim the rewards. So, by completing the missions of the games, you can earn a lot of gems for free. Now, I am trying to answer the solutions for the problems that most of you face in the pinned comment section. Make sure to ask me what problem you have faced, and in the pinned comment of this video I will update your issues. Moving to point number two. Everything you need to do before the TOTS event. So just 8 to 9 days are remaining to arrive at the TOTS event in FC Mobile, and in these 9 days you can do a lot of things to prepare for the TOTS event. So this point is all about the preparation for the TOTS event. So in the TOTS event we are going to get even the 99 rating players which is pretty amazing. And you must do these things if you really want to get 99 rating players. Point 1. Earn 20k competitive points and 40 advanced competitive points. The Division Rivals competitive points are very essential to save since the Division Rivals may be upgraded to 94 to 99 rating TOTS players. So that is surely increasing your chance to pack 99 rating players. That's the reason, make sure to save competitive points and advance competitive points. Now, if you have less competitive points like mine then, let me tell you how you can achieve enough tokens for the TOTS event. Just around 8 days remain until that event, right? But the Division Rivals season will end after 15 days, and the rewards will be upgraded in the store section after 20 days. So you really have enough time to earn a lot of competitive points. First, make sure to reach a FC champion rank in VSA and H2H, which will guarantee you 20k competitive points and 32 advanced competitive points. If you want, you can reach legendary 1 rank in manager mode 2. Now you might think it's impossible for me to reach FC champion rank in VSA and H2H. Don't worry, recently I did a rank push in H2H, and literally you can see here I reached legendary 1 rank in just 2 days. I did it in my free-to-play series account. In that 2-day journey, I lost very rarely as I followed good tactics, and if you want to learn the gameplay tactics then, I have recorded full gameplay from legendary 2 rank. I will be sharing with you all the tactics in the next videos, I just need your feedback if you want gameplay from me or not. Anyway, still 15 days remain. So can allocate 5 days for each mode to reach FC champion rank. In 5 days you can easily reach FC champion if you have good strategy. And when the season gets reset, you will get rewards, according to your rank. Point 2. 
Save your tokens and gems. This is the most important thing you need to do. First, I am suggesting every one of you not to waste your scout points anymore, as it will be exchangeable with the TOTS points. Furthermore, I also suggest you save your gems. You can waste 5k gems for this Mascarano, but I suggest not to waste your gems for this untradeable player. Regarding earning more gems, I already explained it at the start of the video. Now, in point 2. Collect. Fodders. Make sure to collect as much players as you can because it's going to be very essential in the TOTS event. All the 70 plus players will be really useful. Right now if you have 80 rating plus players then, don't sell it as they might increase in value in the TOTS event. For this 9 days you job is just to grind the rewards and collect as much fodder as you can. Let me say you how you can collect more fodders and save it. For collecting more fodder, open as many free packs as you can. Like in the Centurions event you can get around 100 fodder here, you will get fodder everywhere in the game. So don't miss even one grinding, like from daily challenges you can get 2 fodder per day which makes 18 fodder in the 9 days, so even one grinding is important. Now, to save fodder. Don't perform any unnecessary exchanges as exchange is the main reason for you loss of fodder, only do very cheap exchanges. Point 3. Save coins and upcoming best investments. This is going to be the last and the most important thing everyone must do. I am talking regarding the recent Centurion's investment that we did and how we can recover our loss. First, saving coins is a basic thing. During grinding rewards and completing daily missions can earn some amount of coins like 2 to 10 million daily. Now if you have good lucks in the packs then, you can even earn 100 100 million plus profits but that's in the very rare case. Anyway, up to 9 days, earning 2 to 10 million coins daily it will be around 18 to 90 million coins. So that's simply amazing. That's the reason I always recommend to you how important reward grinding can be. Anyway, saving should be done but I don't mean like you should not invest. If there is a profitable investment then, you can invest to increase your savings. So right now I know a lot of you will ask for the new investment but this time investment is a bit more risky as the tots are going to come. Tots can affect the market a lot and can give a huge loss or even profit. But also in the recent scenario the investment we can do is on Tuesday and Thursday. Since the Centurion's 88 rating players are not dropped yet, you might have to cancel the 88 Centurion's investment as it will be risky. The 89 to 97 rating exchange affects 88 Centurion's. In case if it drops below 2.8 million then, only it will be a good investment as they can't cross 4 million price. Anyway, it looks impossible to drop to 2.8 million within next Tuesday. So only one profitable. Investment remains which is going to arrive next Thursday, and it's the new Centurions players. Now I am not sure if they will launch new Centurions players or not, but they will be at the minimum price if EA launches new Centurions players. That investment will be dependent on how easily it will be to pack those players. If you can pack the newly launched cards easily then, surely it's going to be a bad investment. So we need to wait and see. Since it's a short-term investment if the I, newly launched players will get excessive demands then, surely that will be a good investment. So, observe new players in Thursday. Now, the last investment we did on the Centurions is dropping a lot more, mainly the 97 rating players. Last time we thought the 97 rating players were already at the very minimum, and we did that investment but actually 97 is dropping in such price, which is really unexpected. Literally the 97 rating players are coming in at 76 to 100 million which is a very rare case in the market. So some of them might decrease more than that. Actually players like Zidane and Zanetti is easily packable, and from there, the supply is coming. People are opening the packs more, mainly the 2k gems pack is causing even more to crash. So till Thursday also they have chances to crash more, mainly those players who are included in the 2k gems pack and the store packs. So make sure to observe them daily, it's not like they will not increase anymore. All the 97 rating players that I suggested will surely rise but might take a little more time. I hope the 2k gems pack will not come back next Thursday. If it comes then, surely every Centurion's players will drop to the minimum price. So if you have patience then, you can hold on. You can observe the players like Zidane, Zanetti who are included in the store packs. I think they are already dropped to very low so, at this moment it's better you observe them for 3 to 4 more refresh, and if it's still decreasing a lot in the second or third refresh I will suggest you to sell but that's going to be a huge loss for you right? So for that also I have one solution which is ranking them up with Mascarano. Today I rank invested players. I invested in a lot of 97 rating players, and I rank them all to recover loss. You can get Mascarano easily but coins are pretty difficult once you loss and you know well that the coins make more coins. So coins are more important. I did rank up with 4 players. Actually I bought 
Zanetti for 113 million, but he literally dropped to 97 million, and that's literally 23 million lost to me, which is a very high loss. So I decided to rank them up. Ranking up him to level 2 was actually recovering my loss. Like I bought him for 113 million, and after ranking to level 2, he can give me 123 million, and if I sell him, I would have gotten like 111 million after tax. So actually, loss is somehow recovered. But after ranking him to level 2, I just took a risk and used one Mascarano in third rank up. And literally you can see the result that I am in profit instead of loss. I know my Mascherano got wasted, but also, now his value is 155 million, and if I sell him, I will get 140 million. That's around 27 million profit for me. I took the same risk to two more players who are Zambrata and Ramos, and I took risk with just one Mascherano. My luck was literally insane. Even though I wasted three Mascherano per card, at least I recovered my loss. But unfortunately, my nine Mascherano got wasted. That's the sad moment. I tried once more to Terstigan, but with the one Mascherano I failed to rank, and at that moment I thought my luck was gone and stopped at that moment. Today I wasted 12 Mascherano. Now I am also holding and seeing how their markets will go for the next 2-3 to three refresh. If it goes bad then, I might sell him. You might ask me, why you didn't do it in my free-to-play account? I think the players below 96 are fine, they are already too low, and the players that I am investing in are actually holding value. So I am waiting and observing the market to see what happens next. Anyway, if you have invested in the Centurions then, I suggest you to be patient, and if you don't have patience then, you can exit the market like me wasting Mascherano. As I said, players like Zanetti, Zidane, Van Basten, Muller, Terstigan, Modric and so on are included in the packs, and that's the reason they might fall more in price. So yeah, my believers bros, that's it for today's episode, and make sure to subscribe to the channel for more amazing episodes. I will meet you with the next one. Till then, your lovely host, Mr. Believer, signing out.